The doors are open long as YouTube don't close. A reflection. Doors open long as YouTube don't close. When you're just walking in, please smash the like button. You hear me? Welcome to the university. This is a night class. Roll that stanky up. Pull you a shot. Whatever you need to do, do. You hear me? Whatever you need to do, do. Feel me? Cause you niggas ain't citizens. So y'all need to, y'all gonna learn that tonight. Cause, 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 cause motherfuckers out here think they citizens. You know, you know, you can't tell these, these good African Americans and these good Latin, Latin Americans that they aren't citizens. They are citizens. Get my liquid. Because yesterday, Lou, YouTube shut the doors on me. Yeah, I don't know if y'all was in class yesterday, but YouTube shut the doors on me yesterday. Kicked me out. Didn't even let me finish. I had a whole bunch of shit to show. So today, guess what? We're going to start the whole lecture off. We're going to finish up the Novocaine lecture. And then we're going to roll into America's Slaves. All right? Because if you watch the Novocaine lecture, you see they kicked the nigga clean out. I was getting too real. I was being too an Anuki for them. There was too much Anunakai energy. They had enough. They heard enough. They seen enough. You hear me? Gave a nigga the, the Martin, didn't they? Got a nigga up out the crib. But we citizens, though. Shout out to King Palm for keeping me laced up. I ain't bought no King Palms in a long time now. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I bought a King Palm around this bitch. Hey. Shout out to the Reef in Vegas, in Las Vegas. Don't go to the Reef downtown. Go to the Reef on the west side of Vegas. Thank me later. If you're out there in Vegas or you're thinking about going, do not go to the Reef downtown across the street from Planet 13. Go to the one on the west side. Thank me later. You hear me? Cause the motherfuckers downtown Vegas at that reef, I don't know who they connect is. They connect they ain't smoking right. They need to get them niggas at the at the reef downtown Las Vegas across the street from Planet 13. Them niggas need to find them a new connect. Planet 13 need to get them a new connect too. I know what's wrong with Planet 13. They leave their weed out on display all day. You can't be leaving the weed out on display all day. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep that shit dark and keep the air out of it. 
You know what I'm saying? Y'all better come up with a video and show niggas what they smoking. Because trying to display it, y'all fucking up the, up the product, G. Real smokers, we come through that bitch like, why well, this shit taste dried out? Because it's sitting on display all day. So Planet 13, if anybody's listening, thank me later, man. Who the fuck working up in there? Y'all need some real weed smokers. Nigga should tell y'all, that's going to kill the weed. Nigga, anytime you just let it just soak under, then that ain't even a natural light. You know, you got it soaking under that old hot ass blue light on the all day. You know, motherfuckers breathing all over the glass. You know, that's some them secretions leak through the glass, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know, don't fuck with Planet 13. Y'all go to Vegas. They ass gonna send y'all off. They look good. It's a beautiful vicinity. But that gas? Mm mm. And that's how they get you, cause that motherfucker all big. It's the biggest. Dispensary in Vegas. You be like, oh shit, we at 13 with it. We at Planet 13, nigga. We at P13, nigga. I'm telling y'all with somebody, what nobody told me. Don't go in there, waste your money on them people in there. Them niggas is not smoking. Now, if you want to get some good pictures, go in there, get some good pictures, you know. Them niggas gonna have you ready to fight. You hear me? They gonna have you ready to fight, nigga, up fucking around Planet 13, nigga. Cause that shit gonna look good, nigga. They worse than, than, than niggas on the streets, nigga. Because they an actual dispensary. So, nigga, this shit's supposed to be burning, nigga. They want $380 an ounce in that bitch. Taiwan Josh's like, bro, I told you. Yeah, but see, by the time you told me, God, I had already bought the banana sherbet and the blueberry cookies. It was like, you told me after the on the come out. Like, yeah, God, you should have went to the reef. And then when I did go to the reef, they was burning. For real. Taiwan Johnson definitely hit me like when I was out there on the DM side. Like, hey, God, I'm telling you, them niggas is not burning out. Don't, don't fall for it. So I'm going to just warn y'all right now. Y'all ever go to Las Vegas, y'all want to smoke good, go to the Reef. This stay logo. Let me help you out. Reef. West Side. I know a lot of people go to Vegas and visit. West Side. All right. I'm going to help y'all all the way around the board. Can y'all please smash the like button? Like, damn, G, it's 141 of people in counting and 90 likes. Why we gotta go through this every day? Why we gotta go? Why we gotta keep going through this, y'all? Y'all know, can you please smash the like button? Like, I get it. You don't want it to save to your playlist. I don't know why not. There's some real shit you need in your YouTube playlist. You know what I'm saying? But let this shit said, hood rats fighting over Vienna sausages in Detroit. You would, you would like the shit out this shit. It should be all in your archive somewhere. You hear me, nigga? Like, you know what I'm saying? This shit all on Instagram now. You didn't share it everywhere, nigga. For real. Thank you, y'all. I see y'all. I see y'all trying to participate. I JJ two times. You feel me, God? I see a little. I see a little class participation. Divine goddess of love. What it do? Reflection. Reflectiations out there. You hear me? Hey, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Today, today I've been on straight chaos energy, y'all. I've been, but me and the wifey took a long ride. I feel, I feel, I feel a lot. I kind of, y'all know I'm a fire sign. I had to let that air hit me a little bit. But you know, when that air hit a fire, you get to breathe burning harder. So I burned harder, but I burned harder with more better direction. You hear me? Because, you know, I just came back to my vessel feeling some type of way today, y'all. You hear me? I came back ready to deport some shit today. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, man. I've been talking to the ancestors about this shit. Cause I'm like, I know y'all got to feel me. You feel me? Like, what am I supposed to do? I'm trying to wake my people up. You know, niggas is waking up, but niggas is still don't want to wake up. You know? You know? They got to deal with all these white people. They just think I'm racist. They just, anytime you speak any type of positive truth about your own race, you, you racist to white people. They don't want that. They want me to get on here and talk about the drill scene or some shit. Then them white people love a nigga. Then you hear me? I get on here and degrade myself and my race, boy, and my species. My black and Latino brothers and sisters. Boy, they gonna, they gonna love a nigga then. I'm like, shit, man. So, you know, y'all, and then when I see the police, like I was just sending on Instagram earlier, like, because I'm just letting y'all file in class. I'm just letting y'all file on in. Y'all know how we warm it up. We just we just we ain't even started. Y'all know we ain't started no lecture yet until you hear peace to the gods. And we ain't got to that point, nigga. We just letting everybody get on in here, nigga. Hopefully they don't kick us out today. You know what I'm saying? 
You know, and, and I know where these motherfuckers be at that run YouTube and run all these platforms, so I really be feeling away. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Hey, y'all, look, right? Now, peep game. I'm sitting here with my phone on the charger. Y'all hear me? I don't know why y'all keep thinking it's freezing, G. It's not freezing, G. That's YouTube. I literally, bro, just put my phone, my phone sitting here on the charger, y'all. My phone ain't even got no juice like that. You hear me? My phone sitting right here on the charger, y'all. Why they just kicked me off of YouTube talking about some, your phone too hot. And I only got a little battery, y'all, so that means the live ain't finna go long. It's gonna end because my battery is low. But they just kicked me off saying that my phone said emergency cool down. Well, I told y'all the government got my shit tapped, nigga. How the fuck my phone say emergency cool down and my battery low? I ain't even went nowhere for my phone to be hot. I could see if my shit was sitting in the sun. If we ride down the street and I'm sitting in the sun, I'm in the house, nigga. How my phone said emergency cool down? I only got one strike. So... I might as well not even lecture y'all ass tonight. I'm finna get off this bitch because I got one strike. So if I if I keep talking, my phone is going to die. You see what I'm saying? That's still gonna cut me off in the middle of the lecture. You see the games they playing? And when I told y'all, listen, family, when I told y'all they really up on me, G, they really up on me, G. You feel me? So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, I gotta get up off here, y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's why I've been trying to tell y'all come to the website, G. I can't even get a lecture, my nigga. I can't even get a lecture, G, because I can't talk to y'all without putting my phone on the charger. Right now, my phone not on the charger, nigga. Look, my phone. Here go my phone cord right here, nigga. If I put my phone on the charger, they're going to do the same shit. Let's try it again. Let me put my phone on the charger because I can't sit here and just keep talking and talking and talking. This bitch is going down, y'all ass. Somebody said come back at 9. What time you think it is? I'm not on the West Coast. I'm on the East Coast. Nigga, it's 10. It's 10 where I'm at. You must be on the West Coast. Talking about come back at 9, nigga. Shit, it's already 10 where I'm at. Now, look, I got my phone back on the charger, y'all. I can't get a lecture without my phone charger, so let's see what they do. But you better know goddamn well, so now I can't charge my phone. But niggas don't want to come to the website, though. If it's 176 of y'all right here on YouTube, why y'all can't come to the website? Y'all see what they own with me. See what I'm saying? Why you can't come to the website? I seen motherfuckers sign up for the website last week and didn't even still come to the live. Like, y'all paid for subscriptions, nigga. Every class should have had at least the number of subscriptions that's, like, actually signed up for the live. So it should have been, like, 180 people on live. Nigga, the max we reached on live on the website last week was 100 people. Facts. So y'all be helping them. See, when you stay on this platform like YouTube and Instagram and Facebook, you're giving them all the power. Because I'm doing my part. I created my own website. I branched off from them. The only reason I'm still coming back to these platforms because y'all last ain't came to the website. Facts, nigga. I would never come back to the platform and then you niggas will never find me again because niggas don't want to come to the website because what? Because it's black owned? Like, what is wrong with y'all out there? You feel me? I'm just being real. I'm just being real. You feel me? I'm just being real. Like, you know, niggas don't want to help out in the war at all. You know, niggas say they want to be saved, but niggas don't even want to scan over, go to the website so we can get through this shit without getting pushed out and kicked out and emergency. Like, all that goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna tell me I can't charge my phone right now. Emergency cool down. You see that type of shit when you just set your phone in the sun on a sunny day. You know what I'm saying? And you, you, you get out the car and it's sunny as fuck and you leave your phone in the car in the sun and it's, the glass is making the sun harder so it's beaming on your phone. And You know, nigga, I'm in the house, nigga. What the fuck do you mean emergency cool down? What have I done for the phone to be hot? Nigga, it wasn't even on the charger. That's why I'm putting it on the charger. I can see if it was at full battery. That don't even make sense. That ain't even, you can't even explain the physics of that shit. I'm a scientist. So when I get to seeing that type of shit, emergency cool down, up, oh, that's the feds. That's just the feds. Fuck with my phone. See what I'm saying? If it ain't YouTube fucking with the phone, it's the feds. Somebody, CIA, somebody trying to get in here and tamper with the lie. Nigga ain't even started talking yet because they ass some bitches. They that scared. They that scared, nigga. Nigga, they fear me, nigga. Every time I go live, nigga, they ass trembling, nigga. They hoping y'all ass don't get on this bitch, nigga. You hear me, nigga? And I ain't even got no thousands of people on my live. That's how you know they. what I'm saying is real, nigga. They can't take 200 of y'all. They can't take 20 of y'all listening to what the fuck I'm saying. That's too many people. So many people hearing this real shit. You hear me? Like, facts, nigga. Instagram finally let me go to 19.9. Look at y'all. I've been getting 100 followers a day on Instagram for two weeks, nigga. I've been stuck at 19.8 followers, nigga. 
Now, I'm not big on followers. It's just that I'm paying attention to them, to them trying to shut my reach down. Why did I make a live YouTube on Instagram talking about the fact that IG been fucking with my followers? Why I'm at 19.9 now? I only gained like 25, 30 followers today. Now I'm at, I'm at 19.9 after making the live addressing it. Go look at my IG. I made a live earlier about them fucking with the followers, nigga. And then you go back and look now at my live. I'm at 19.9 on Instagram. Y'all don't peep that shit. They're listening to what the fuck I'm saying. And trying to adjust to what I'm saying. They're literally, bro. They literally sitting back going off me. I'm talking about the elites. They sitting back like, okay, what is he going to say? We going to adjust to whatever he say. Just like when I said that shit about Dreezy. About how high ass on the MK Ultra, which she is. Next thing you know, the very next day, nigga. Dreezy ain't dropped a song, nigga, in two years, nigga. I was going to make a whole YouTube video on this shit. I didn't even do it because the very next day, off the blue, all out, all of a sudden, Dre Dreezy drops a beatbox B day freestyle. Now go listen, look at that freestyle when she dropped that nigga, and go look at the last time she dropped anything before that freestyle, nigga. You still think these people don't be watching my lives, nigga, and listening to me? Come on, man, you sound crazy, nigga. You sound crazy if you think that. Come on, man, they not just doing this to me; they doing this to everybody. Young Pharaoh, Ralph Smart. Uh, uh, Remedy H, Serious Inner Temple, RGF Chosen One, and I can keep naming motherfuckers. Queen Dope, I can just keep naming anybody that's an uh, outspoken leader right now. And that's why we really supposed to be coming together. You know what I'm saying? But shit, I, you know, I can't reach out to them niggas. You know what I'm saying? I'm following niggas. You know what I'm saying? That's the most I can do. I follow all the other leaders. I follow niggas. That's the most I can do. Follow the other guys. I can't, I can't reach out and make niggas collaborate and come together because a lot of y'all stay hit me up like, damn, why you, you, would you do something with Pharaoh? Would you do something with, with, uh, with, uh, R, um, RFG Chosen One? Would you do something with Remedy H? Would you do something with da 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 Would you, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? I'm not turning none of them guys down. They not fucking with me. I, I doubt they don't know who I am at this point. I, I find it impossible. I don't believe it. You know what I'm saying? I know Kylie following me though. Kylie ate me wrong. IG with the long loss. I fuck with God. Who else out there doing something? Charleston White. He he kick a lot of real shit. His message isn't as deep as mine and like Kylie and Young Pharaoh, but he's still with the fuck the police. Let's get this shit in order. So he's still on a certain vibe. Shit, I talked to him on the phone a couple times. Like I I would not connect with another leader, G. It be niggas not fucking with me, and I'm not gonna kiss no niggas ass. You hear me? I'm not gonna reach out and hey, I'm not gonna do none of that, fam. You hear me? Period, nigga. We can come together, nigga, and, and, and turn into motherfucking, goddamn it, what they used to do on Power Rangers, nigga. When they combine, nigga, we can combine our powers, nigga, and become Captain Planet around this bitch. I'm with all that. I got my hand out, but shit, if, if other niggas don't got their hand out because they feel like this with a lot of other leaders, this is what y'all got to realize. Y'all be getting jealous of each other. When you got to realize you were sent here to be a leader, so there's no reason to do that. All these people need us. You feel me? We all saying the same shit, just in different ways, nigga. So that's, and that's okay. We supposed to all merge together like, like motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? On some, by your powers combined, nigga. You hear me? On some Ultron shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's what we supposed to do, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You know how many people that is right there? Look at all the followers of Remedy Age Guide and... You know, um, RFG Chosen One, Serious Inner Temple, Kali, Pharaoh, uh, Infinite Waters, me. You know what I'm saying? Queen Domain. Like, imagine everybody came together, nigga. And we, nigga, look at nigga right there to go to Army. Nigga, all our followings, nigga, combined with just, that's how we right there, nigga. Like, because at the end of the day, it ain't going to happen with no one motherfucker. It takes a unity. It takes a motherfucker got to merge together. But nigga, we going to war. And like I say, niggas ain't got to ride with me, nigga. I'm going to go to war on my own, nigga. I'm going to be just like Marlo off the wire with this shit. You hear me, nigga? Like, nigga, like, who is some nigga down there, Joe? I don't know who he is, but he doing his own thing. He got his own army, nigga. And they fucking shit up around this bitch, nigga. Y'all need to go sit down and holler at fam. That nigga Rashad Jamal, he down there on that corner getting busy. Remember how Marlo was on the wire, nigga? If y'all ever seen the wire, nigga, what made Marlo so cold was that nigga, he had his own shit going on. He had his own little click, nigga, and he wasn't for none, nigga. You hear me, nigga? Like, damn, them niggas down there getting busy. That's what I'm on. I'm trying to merge together with my fucks, but if niggas don't want to merge, you, I'm Marlo around this bitch. You hear me, nigga? I have no problem stepping along. You hear me? I ain't got to listen. We going to look. We going to get this shit right. You hear me? We'll meet y'all on the other side. You hear me? We got the same enemy, so we'll meet y'all on the other side. If y'all want to go left, we going to go right, nigga. We, we'll meet y'all at the back, nigga. You hear me? By the time we get through, if y'all go left, 
If we go right and everybody step like they need to, by the time we get to the back, ain't gonna be no more options, nigga. Ain't gonna be no more oppressors, ain't gonna be no more America, nigga. You hear me? We're gonna be right at the back, like damn good shit. So that's what I'm saying. It don't matter how you teach. If you a leader, nigga, teach however you teach. That's your gift. You know, everybody got their ways. All I'm saying is we need to merge this shit together. That's all I'm saying. I don't judge no teachers, the way you teach, how you teach. I don't sit here and badmouth no no leaders. The last thing I'm going to do is badmouth another leader, one of our leaders, nigga. That's that's what they always do to us. When we do get a few motherfuckers want to stick their neck out and get something going, here here we go our own on a badmouth that motherfucker. Listen, I'm at this point with it, nigga. These, these motherfuckers, this country didn't fuck us over so bad, my nigga. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Listen, I'll give a black or Latino motherfucker, nigga, or a poor white motherfucker that ain't racist, nigga, or a poor white Mexican that ain't racist, or a poor white Asian, a poor old human being that ain't racist, nigga. I'll give they ass a chance, G, before I listen to any any elites or any motherfuckers on that other side of the fence, G. Period, nigga. And if you the police, I'm not fucking with you at all. And we're going to talk about all that tonight. All right? Period. We're going to talk about why it's fuck the police with me, why I'm going to make a live and I'm going to burn the shit out the American flag. I'm letting y'all know before I do it. I'm going to have a live dedicated, nigga. This bitch going to come on, nigga. Y'all can get on YouTube, nigga. It might be 30 seconds long, nigga. I'm going to piss on the flag, nigga. And I'm going to burn that bitch, nigga. And I'm going to watch it burn, nigga. And I'm going to roll up, nigga. And I'm going to be talking why that bitch burned and explaining why I burnt that bitch, nigga. So they can know where I stand with them, nigga. You hear me, nigga? This is this why I stand with y'all. So what better way to let y'all know than to burn the American flag? You hear me? And piss on that bitch, nigga. And record it, nigga. And then take a picture and post that bitch to social media, nigga. You see what I'm saying? What better way to let it be known how I, how, what I stood for? I just want the world to know what I stand for. You hear me, nigga? I don't want nobody to guess. I don't want nobody to have to question. I don't want a motherfucker to, to, to know, like, what, what was Rashad Jamal on, nigga? He came on revolutionary straight fuck the other side, nigga. He wanted all the, nigga, all the blood, nigga. You hear me, nigga? All the blood and all the respect, nigga. I ain't trying to hear shit, nigga. Period. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to be cordial around this bitch, nigga. But you better believe it's going to be it's, it's gonna be some getting busy. You know, I know I'm getting busy now because I'm waking up the minds. And that's what got the elite so mad at me. They mad with me, y'all. They hot in the ass with me. Because they want to fuck with me, but they really can't fuck with me because I practice magic like they practice magic. So they can't use none of that shit on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, they can't use the magical incantations on me because I practice this shit. So it's like when they trying to send their little psyops and they try to, you know, even if they crack my shit a little bit, I, I peep it. Like I told my wife earlier, I'm like, man, bang, a lot of things. I think these sorcerers then sent a little psyop at me mentally. Because, see, that witchcraft, a motherfucker. See, y'all don't know about magic. That's a whole different realm. And when a motherfucker put some spells on your ass, boy, that's a whole, whole nigga. You'll wake up, boy. Fuck getting hit with a bullet. Fuck fighting. If a person put a spell on you, you will wake up not even feeling yourself on no level, my nigga. You will be doubting yourself. You'll be questioning yourself. You will be like, and, and that's worse than anything. That wake up and have that feeling inside like everything is wrong. You know what I'm saying? These spells so powerful, they'll, make, they'll send a spell at your ass and make your ass think don't nobody love your ass. Have your ass depressed. Depression leads to what? Low vibrations. Leads to what? Suicide. Have your ass in the deepest of depression around this bitch. And you thinking, you don't know where this feeling coming from. You don't know where the feeling coming from. Nigga, you in the house arguing with your wife. You blaming her. You blaming yourself. You blaming the cat. You blaming the dog. Whole fucking time, nigga, it's a motherfucker that put a spell on you. Or you know it as a hex. Nigga, that's real. You hear me? That's real. That's what the elites do to our ass on a massive level, nigga. You wake up all fucked up mentally. You all mad. You don't know what the fuck you mad about. You know what I'm saying? Now you looking for a reason to, 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 to be mad. You know what I'm saying? Low key. You know what I'm saying? You didn't, you, now you think about old shit and moments in time just to match that frequency of your how you feel today. Like, that be sorcery and motherfucker don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes it so dangerous because you walking into it. You're not prepped for that fight. You don't know nothing about that fight. That's that's no different than getting in the ring with a boxer. He he know how to box. You get up in that motherfucker. You don't know nothing about no left, no left straight. You don't know how to slip a left. You don't know whether the motherfucking step back from the left. You don't know whether to slip the left. You don't know whether to roll off the left. You see what I'm saying? You don't know nothing about boxing. Meanwhile, this boxer, he know how to disengage you with his elbows, how to block your punches, how to weave off you. He know if he throw this punch, he can lead you into the next punch. He know if he hits you right here, your body going to lean that way because it's physics, so he can come back with that punch. That's what boxers do. They set you up for counterpunch. All that, right? It's no different. No different. You don't know your opponent. You don't know who you in there in the ring with, nigga. 
You don't know you, you ill, you unprepared, nigga. You got a house full of guns, nigga. These motherfuckers playing with magic. Yeah, have your guns. So when they come on that frequency, but you should have your crystals. You should have your guns and your crystals and your vests, nigga. You should be activate these. You should be meditating. You should be all that, nigga. It's spiritual warfare, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Spiritual forces, wickedness in higher places, nigga. That's one of the real shits they did put in the Bible that came from us that they didn't miscontort, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They get, Satan gave us, he gave you that much. He gave you that much in the game. He gave you a hell of a gemstone if you pay attention to that. You know, for you wrestle not against flesh and blood, nigga. That ain't who you wrestling against, nigga. That ain't who you warring against. That's why you losing a motherfucking war, nigga. You, you, looking for, you looking for flesh. Motherfuckers all in your house, nigga. Playing in your mental. You don't even know it because you looking for flesh. You have no awareness of the ethereal rams, the gas rams, the quantum rams, because they kept quantum physics from you, metaphysics from you. These pussy ass, these pussy ass motherfuckers don't give a fuck about us, fam. You hear me, nigga? Mm -hmm. Nigga, that's like I say. I damn near don't even want to say peace to the motherfucking gods and goddesses right now. That's how the energy is. But you know what? I got a peace to the gods and goddesses of planet Kai. Peace to the elders. You know I appreciate y'all. If I don't elaborate, this ain't the energy I'm on right now to be doing no motherfucking elaborating. But peace to the elders. You know how I feel about y'all. You know what I'm saying? Peace to my, to peace to the peers. You know what I'm saying? I wish I numbered the deeper to inside. I'm not trying to do no elaborating past that because I need to set the energy for what the fuck needs to be said tonight. Y'all know how I feel about y'all. Y'all watch me every motherfucking time, so don't take it no type of way to the youth program. Peace to y'all. Number the deepest of insight. If this is your first time in the motherfucking university. If you don't like the family leader of university, now that's my only disclaimer. If you don't like black people, leave if you got a problem with motherfuckers with their shirts off wife beaters a motherfucker just being a natural self leave now that way you don't even have to sit here and say this is the most racist bullshit you ever heard just leave you just leave you know what i'm saying just exit out see what i'm saying just exit out g just exit out g just exit out because that's the issue now you motherfuckers want to come in here telling the motherfucker what to say nigga and then you you, you get the fucking with my shit you get the you get the tapping on my shit, you know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and then I get on that mode, and then y'all want to motherfucking block the YouTube and kick a nigga out and report the pages, but don't nobody want to get aggressive, don't nobody want to bleed, ain't nobody trying to kill nothing, ain't nobody trying to do nothing really aggressive. Niggas can email me, my son, I'll pull up on you. I got them. I will pull up on you. I will make the time. I don't even listen. I don't work for nobody but me, nigga. I got time to link up with your ass if you a racist. We can we can do that. You ain't got to report no lives. You don't got to do none of that. You can just literally send a location, nigga. I swear to God, I'll pull up, bro. We can listen, bro. You hear me, bro? We, however you trying to do it, you hear me? We ain't got to use no guns or none of that. If you just want to scrap, nigga, go ahead. We can do all that, bro. You see what I'm saying? I don't have no problem beating your racist ass on anybody live. You hear me? Like, period. That's all I'm saying, Joe. Let's just keep it real. Let's keep it real warrior. Let's stop moving like cowards. Let's have some honor with this shit, nigga. If we gonna, if we gonna war, let's war. All this motherfucking reporting pages shit, G. You ain't got to do that with me, G. You know what I'm saying? I'm plugged with certain boxers like my boy Zab, nigga. We can get in that ring and we can fight. You can represent the white racist people and I represent the black people and we can put some, we can do it for some money, nigga. And we can donate back to charity, nigga. I don't have no problem beating none of y'all racist ass, boy, my son. The bigger the better. I want y'all to send the biggest, nigga. So when I destroy his ass, nigga, you could be like, damn, you let that little five foot eight nigga whoop your big six foot six ass all over the ring, nigga. On my son, you hear me, nigga? For real, I want I want it to be known. These bitches work, nigga. You hear me? I don't want no excuses. I only want a nigga close to my size, nigga. I want a, one of them big white country boys, nigga. Give me the 6, 7, 3, 20. You hear me? Put me in there with him, nigga. You hear me? Because anybody little than that, nigga, you ain't gonna be able to handle this energy I'm coming with. You hear me? You ain't gonna be able to handle the, the you hear me? This shit got real life, real life, real life, real life. Souls is on these punches. I'm gonna hit a nigga with G. This shit a whole different frequency. I fight a motherfucker under that type of act so we can do all that. That's all I'm saying. You hear me? Like, I'm open. Nigga, I'm open. Ain't no motherfucker, ain't no white racist motherfucker sent the email yet, nigga. You hear me, nigga? Ain't no motherfucker stepped up to the plate yet, nigga. You don't need no money. No, none of that. You don't even need no following on my son. I'll beat your ass for free, nigga. You don't need no following. You don't need no none of that. None of that old extra shit niggas be saying when they dodging some smoke, nigga. You hear me? Just all you gotta be is a racist motherfucker, nigga. You hear me, nigga? And we could do it. You hear me? You hear me? You get me one on one, you get to let it all out. You ain't got to sit behind the screen and feel no way. You hear me? Facts, nigga. The, the email is divineinsight, D I V I N E, insight. 
I N S I G H T at the UCI dot online, nigga. You know what I'm saying? The, that's all you gotta do, nigga. Period. You hear me? You feel like you got little white boys that you you racist and you an old white man or something. You watching me? You feel like you go ahead sign them up, G? Cause we gonna have to do something. That's all I'm saying. We gonna have to do something. We gotta start lining niggas up. Niggas gonna have to start living up to this shit they talking over the internet. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I wanna see how hard a motherfucker hit, nigga. Fuck typing, hit me, nigga. Let me know it's real. You feel me? I can't feel no typing or none of that. You hear me? Hit me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Let me know it's real. Period. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna shoot. I don't want none of that. I wanna take this shit right back to the warrior mode, nigga. All just knuckles and elbows and knees. You hear me? Period, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, bust my lip, black my eye, do something. Because I'm telling you, I'm doing all that to you. You hear me? So if you do it to me, nigga, I'm cool. You hear me? Just, just give You know what I'm saying? Like, that's where the energy at with me right now, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to be real with y'all. Like, trying to really explain this to, to y'all and trying to wake y'all up. And we, we going to talk about it. I got, Of course, I got, the, I got the joint pulled up. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I can't. Y'all got to know I'm a warrior, G. So, like. You know, I only want to do so much talking. That's why I said I don't even know how long I'm be teaching y'all. Be like, I'm at the point where I'm tired of talking about the shit. I feel like I made my point already. I've already pointed out to y'all. What more do you need to see? Now, can we get active? You know what I'm saying? Like, and if niggas don't want to get active, niggas just let me know. You hear me? That's cool. We don't have to get active. You don't have to get active. Gee, I'm, I'm just. You hear me? For real. Cause today, today we we finna talk about you know American citizens. You finna find out today how you ain't no motherfucking citizen. You hear me? And I hope I hope there's some human beings in here. I hope y'all sitting here so y'all can realize how these black and Latinos are not American citizens. Period. You hear me? Nigga, we going to the documents. Nigga, I'm pulling up. I got, I got the 13th Amendment pulled up, nigga. I got the 14th Amendment pulled up. I got the 15th Amendment pulled up, nigga. I got the Supreme Court documents, nigga. The three-fifth clause is pulled up, nigga. You hear me? Maritime Admiralty Law is pulled up, nigga. We finna talk real life. We finna talk legal terms, nigga. I damn near want to throw my motherfucking glasses on y'all ass and put a suit on right now. I'm finna go into a whole nother mode. You're going to think you're listening to Johnny Cochran. I swear to God, y'all is. How I'm finna run through these motherfucking amendments on y'all ass. You gonna swear a nigga was Johnny Cochran. Nigga, don't play with me out there, nigga, like I don't know what I'm talking about. Just cause I get on here and I be full of passion. Y'all wanna try to play me like I'm dumb or something, nigga. I'm just a passionate warrior that's ready to fuck y'all up, nigga. But I know what I'm talking about. You hear me? Don't try to discredit me because I be all passionate, nigga. I be, yeah, I'm passionate, nigga. I'm passionate, nigga. I'm ready to fuck y'all up. You see me back in the gym every day, charged up. Yeah, I'm not playing with y'all ass. You hear me? I'm not playing with y'all on no level of life, nigga. Period. Give fuck how many lives y'all in. You hear me? We gonna talk what y'all don't like. Y'all don't like when I talk this, when I talk this. When I go to that black and white right there, nigga. Mm-hmm. I'm not supposed to do that. I'm a goofy-ass black nigger that y'all said y'all brought off a ship. So I'm not supposed to do that. Who do I think I am to even say I'm a god? I know why y'all don't like me. I get it. Who the fuck is he to think he's a god? Who the fuck is this dumbass African nigger to think he's a fucking god? He isn't shit. We enslaved his people. And he got the nuts to try to wake some people up about who they are. We fought forever to get this shit like this. And this motherfucking nigger want to come along in 2021 and try to tell these motherfuckers what they is. Who he think he is? Oh, he got three companies. He dropped out of our high school. He know all our science and his. Self-made millionaire for real. And he got the money and he let his people know this money ain't shit. Who do he think he is? He says, fuck us. He says, fuck the FBI, the CIA, the police. Who the fuck does he think he is? And I told y'all who I am, nigga. I'm a god, nigga. And a revolutionary. And I am that I am. I told y'all who I, who I, not who I thought I was, who I know I am. You hear me? And I told y'all who my people is. Period. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers want to walk around talk, talk about they American citizens. Nigga, if your ass don't have, you're not full of melanin. Your ass ain't no American citizen, nigga. What is melanin? What is melanin? Because, you know, 
You can't tell some black people they ain't got no melanin or Latino people. They ain't got no melanin. They got melody, y'all. You hear me? Hold on. <clears throat> they got melody. We finna pull it up. So, let me pull it up. I'm on Google, y'all. I'm Googling this. I want y'all to see something. There it go. There it motherfucking go. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Keep flipping the camera around, so just come on this side. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> now, first off, let's start by getting a true understanding of what melanin is. Okay. So a lot of Black and Latino people have been taught that they have melanin, but they do not. All right. A lot of, once again, I repeat, the average right now, it's a popular term for black people to say they have melanin or for Latinos to say they have melanin, but you won't even hear Latinos saying they got melanin because Latinos don't even think they black at all. They've lied to them, right? So you really only hear Af so quote unquote called African-Americans, right? Calling themselves saying they have melanin. Now, Google, when you're using Google or you, you're researching anything on this, on this internet, if that website isn't coming from somebody who created their own website, understand that you cannot trust Google neither, all right? So when you are Googling things, you're going to use them to an extent. Your third eye has to be open, but they will still give you the truth here and there, all right? So like right now, when they're telling you about, I, I, I just asked this question, all right, hold on, there you go, does melanin... Let's let it focus. Does melanin protect you from the sun? It say the outer layer of the skin has cells that contain the pigment melanin. Don't even worry about that because that would be a lie. But right here, melanin protects skin from the sun's ultraviolet rays. And that's all I want y'all to see. What melanin is designed for? Melanin is, is, design, <laughs> is designed to protect the skin from the sun's ultraviolet rays. Okay? Pay attention to that. Melanin's job is to protect the skin from the sun's ultraviolet rays. Now, you are a nine ether being, right? Child of the sun, creator of the sun. If you are black or Latino, you give life to the sun. Literally. You give life to the sun. So why would you need to be protected from his rays? If you have melanin in your skin, right? Think about this. You being a nine ether being, if you're black or Latino, you are not an African American. You are not black. You are not Latino. You are a nine ether being, right? So, you give life to the sun. You feed off the sun's frequency. and You are the only being other than a plant that can channel the sun's frequency. It's called photosynthesis. Plants do the same exact thing. Photosynthesis. Their ability to absorb and store energy. 
Plants absorb the sun's light or energy, which comes from the chromosphere. They absorb it and they store it in their chloroplast DEA. Right? You do the same thing. Right? The sun gives life to everything on the planet except one type of species, and that's the human being species. And I say that with all due respect. All right? But it's the fact. Okay. So, it clearly says here that melanin protects the skin from the sun's ultraviolet rays. Now, you being a sun god, you require sunlight. Ask yourself this. Why would you, why would you need anything on your body that's going to protect you from the sun's rays when you need it? That's how you know you don't have melanin in you. All you got to do is look up what is melanin, melanin's true purpose. You don't have melanin. Now, when you got carbon in your skin, now, if you're a human being, yes, you have melanin because you can't take the sun's rays. See, now that makes sense. Human beings have melanin, which is why you all get melanomas when you get too much sunlight. You break out into these melanomas. It's important that we know this because we got to find out how blacks and Latinos are not citizens of this country. All right. Melanomas. Let's look at it. I know some people have seen this before, but if you have, it's cool. That makes you an advanced student. It's a lot of new people here to have. That's all that means. Hmm. Melanoma. Melanoma occurs when the pigment producing cells that give color to the skin become cancerous. Symptoms might include a new unusual growth or a change in an existing mold. Melanomas can occur anywhere on the body. Treatment may involve surgery, radiation, medications, or in some cases, chemotherapy. New unusual growth or change in an existing mold. Melanomas. All right? All right? Melanomas. All right? This happened to people that get too much sunlight. All right? When you get too much sunlight, people that stay out in the sun too long. All right? So, let me flip it back. You ain't never had no melanoma if you have carbon in your skin. No, you have not. You ain't never stood in no sun and got no and broke out into nothing, nigga. You might have stood in that sun and got hot. And, and couldn't take the heat of the sun because it's burning off them toxins off your body. You you getting filled with toxins all day. So when you stand in your sun, that's why I feel too hot after so long. Because that's the toxins being burnt off your body from that pure radiation from the sun that you created. That's why if they could destroy that sun, they would have destroyed it too, but they couldn't. They can't. You hear me? You need the sun, so you ain't got melanin. Melanin is what human beings have because they can't take the sun, right? So you have neuromelanin. You have neuromelanin. You are neuromelanated, which is the purest form of melanin. Neuromelanin. Melanin is just a scientific replica of neuromelanin, which is why we don't have it. All right. We don't have melanin. Black and Latino people have neuromelanin. And when Satan, a.k.a. Zeus, was creating the human being race, he could not replicate that. He couldn't duplicate that rather. Because the original Supreme um, Council of Nine Ananuki Goddesses gave us this neuromelanin. Because neuromelanin is nothing but dark matter energy. That which we are. That's what makes us nine ether beings. In science, they call it antimatter. And they've been trying to get their hands on it forever. All right? So it's important that you understand that, that it's two different species in this country right away. All right. It's two different species in this country. And then you got racist white people 
that are programs, and they'll get on here and, and say this is a racist rant because I'm teaching y'all y'all true history. See what I'm saying? Anytime we teach true history, it's considered a racist rant. But if we was on here degrading ourselves, motherfuckers are like that. So there are there are three, two species really in America, right? You had your human being species, and you had your God species. Now of course, within the human being species, they're divided because you have your hierarchy human beings. These are your rich ones. You're the British nobility, your British royals, these motherfuckers. These are all draconian reptilians, shapeshifters. They just look like regular people. Every president we ever had in the United States of America was a draconian reptilian. They are all blood related. That's why every president is related. It's the 13 bloodlines. That's why America has 13, 13 blood stripes on the flag. Even time translates to 13. If you add up all the numbers on the clock, 12 plus 1, 11 plus 2, and you just keep going down, you're going to get 13 every time. Everything going to lead to 13 because 13 represents those original 13 bloodlines of draconian reptilians that invaded our planet. 13 original colonies. Why do you think they were called colonies, nigga? Reptiles have colonies, nigga. We ain't ever had no colonies, nigga. Insects have colonies, nigga. Understand. Nigga. We had no colonies, nigga. The, what were they called? The Spanish conquistadors. Spanish conquerors. And they set out, they, they, they conquered our whole planet, and they set up these 13 colonies and made America, a.k.a. Atlantis, this section of Atlantis, rather, headquarters for their invasion. All right, so... The reason that we can't come together in America, because I'm focused on America in this lecture, is because black and Latin, African Americans and Latin Americans have first been even lied to about them being related. They have told you Latin Americans that you are not related to them African Americans. And they have told you African Americans that you have no connection to them Latin Americans. But if, but if both sides go back just a few generations, my nigga, you ain't gotta look that far back, nigga. You gonna see everything lead back to us. There's no separation between nobody that's, that's brown and black. They gave you different names. Don't look at the hair texture. Nigga, we got different types of hair texture. We ain't have no one type of hair texture. That's another lie. Mm -hmm. Nigga, we, had, we looked at, we had every complexion, every type of hair texture. All right, I can show you right now people with blonde hair, black people with blonde hair. All right, I can show you Latino people that they consider like Dominicans and shit like that that's blacker than me right now. You feel me? So that's the first connection we got to see. All right? And then once you can see that connection, you got to realize, like, okay, you're not an African-American. So that's going to make all you black people think, I'm not an African-American. So what am I? And all you Latin Americans, like, damn, I'm not a Latin American. So what am I really? Latin was never a people. It was always a love language. It was a European love language, Latin American. All right, so these, these elites have fooled us into believing that we have a choice. They called you Latin Americans and they called you African Americans. And then as far as like the poor white people, they, they taught y'all to hate black people too. You know, they lied to y'all about child history. They made y'all think the white people discovered everything. So that helped y'all helped the hierarchy human beings and them draconian reptilians keep the illusion going that way. And that also leads to like a race war. They want a race war. But blacks and whites not supposed to race war. Black, like the humans ain't supposed to war be warm with the gods. Because first off, y'all going to lose that war. And I don't say that cocky. I'm just saying that honestly. Because, you know what I'm saying? We the, we the gods. You know what I'm saying? Secondly, your ancestors came and took everything from all your present day black people. So you got to know that. Even if you didn't do it, you can't get around what your ancestors did. You still can't be like, well, your ancestors wasn't wrong. So when you're looking at present day black and Latino people, you seeing a you seeing them in a fallen state, white people. 
Y'all keep stepping around that like y'all ancestors ain't take that from them and then y'all judging them. Nigga, don't know why, don't know black families get along. Don't know, a few Latino families might get along, but I know black motherfuckers ain't getting along. Black families ain't getting along for shit. And it ain't they fault. You know, this is the way it was designed. America designed it this way. So you have to stop judging those black people. Like, they, they, they sick. They suffer from lack of knowledge of self. I know my people suffer, suffer from lack of knowledge of self, so I can't judge them. They don't know. They literally don't know. They think we, they think other black people is they ops. And these Latinos, like, they don't know that we related, so of course they might not like me. They fuck that black guy. They think they Latinos and I'm black. That I'm not going to stop loving those Latinos. I'm going to keep loving them and know they're my brothers and sisters. I'm going to keep loving my black people and know they're my brothers and sisters. And I'm going to keep letting the poor white people know, like, hey, we helped y'all in the beginning. We reverse engineered what Zeus did to y'all. That's why y'all can walk upright. We gave y'all the alphabet system. We did that. We helped y'all. We helped y'all. Y'all turned on us to side with the Draconian reptilians who then turned on y'all in the 60s. They've been kidnapping y'all ever since. This is what I was talking about yesterday when they kicked me off YouTube. I was talking about this right here. This right here Novocaine. I was trying to connect the dots. They didn't want no dots connected. Look, I was talking about Novocaine. What is Novocaine? Novocaine is a local anesthetic that eases pain around the areas where it's administered. Pay attention. Novocaine is a local anesthetic that eases pain around the areas where it's administered. While the chemistry behind Novocaine is complex, they'll never tell you what's in it. See, they'll never tell you what's in the bullshit. The basics are easy to understand, understand. Because we don't stand under anything. All right? Novocaine essentially blocks your nerves from sending pain signals to the brain, therefore making treatment comfortable and virtually pain-free. And I was saying that's what they've been doing to us. Novocaine and the whole community. Nigga. So you, you're suffering, but you don't feel it. It's pain free. It's no can. The money, the cars, the American dream, the whole thing is no can. To take your mind off what's really going on. They've enslaved you on your planet and took everything from you. And now they make you work like a fucking workhorse. Break your fucking neck just to get it, any form of it back to survive in their matrix. And we and when you're and you're telling me African Americans are citizens, of America. Okay, so if they're citizens, let's let's get busy. Let's start with this. So now, this is my thesis. I'm presenting the case that African Americans and Latin Americans are actually still under slavery by law. That legally they are indentured service because they are the they are the grandchildren of slaves. And that they are being lied to by America, who is run and owned by the British royals, who are actually draconian reptilians, who are actually the fallen gods, who are actually checking in with Satan, but his real name is Zeus. That's my thesis I'm proposing. In America, your thesis is that black people and Latino people are not related they are not connected. They are not from a different planet. This is not their planet. This is not their land. There are no draconian reptilians. It's all a conspiracy theory. And that they are citizens. So let's find out. Citizens have, first off, let's Google what a citizen is. So let's find out. Let's go to Google. So what is a citizen? First off, let's find out what is a citizen. Citizen. Y'all hear it? Citizen. Okay, so y'all know I'm on the definition. Let me three times because we understand the power of the three, the six, and the nine. Citizen. So y'all know I'm on the goddamn definition. A legally recognized subject or national of a state or common wealth, either native or naturalized. I hope YouTube don't delete this video. That's all I can say. Because I'm finna get busy tonight. You hear me? Because you know, when I break, I'm a digger. See, I'm a digger, nigga. I'm a diggy, nigga. You hear me? I'm gonna put my foot in this shit. You hear me, nigga? I'm a... Uh, 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 
good, nigga. All night long, nigga. You hear me? When I, when I, like, like, I'm like a red nosed pit bull. Like when I get on the trail to some shit, nigga. You hear me? Like, not, I, I lock on it, nigga. I ain't letting it go, nigga. You gotta shoot me, nigga. And I'm still fuck around and let it go, nigga. You hear me? Nigga, real life shit, nigga. What was his last words? Fuck the whole country. Cause they ass ain't right. To the death of me, you hear me? And I'll never die. I'm a supreme being, nigga. I'm a forever, nigga. You hear me? You can't kill what y'all didn't create. You hear me? You can't never get rid of me. I, I am everything and everything is me. Okay? So, nigga, let's hear, let's hear it again. Let's hear it again, and then I'm going to break it down because I know the hood in the back. They need to know the definitions of shit. Naturalized. See, when you hear these type of terms, naturalized, you need to be asking yourself, what is natural life? What is naturalized? Just so y'all can hear him on the motherfucking definition again. Citizen. You heard her. What you say, Google? Citizen. Say it one more time, Google. We're just asking questions for a friend. Citizen. Because now, motherfuckers think they citizens out there. You know? And I ain't want to be the one to break it to y'all like this. But this shit going to get broke tonight. So motherfuckers can know you ain't a citizen of shit, nigga. You hear me? Now. You ain't a citizen of shit. Nigga, you are property, nigga. What's your last name? What's your last name? You feel me? No, nah, because you niggas think y'all free out there. Niggas get some money and niggas think they free. Nigga, I don't give a fuck how much money you got, Jay-Z. I don't give a fuck how good you rap, nigga. I love all your albums. Yes, I do. But, nigga, you... What's your last name? Carter. Right. Right. Give a fuck how much money Oprah got. What's her last name and where she get it from, nigga? Win free. Do she look like a motherfucking win free to you, nigga? Do she look like a motherfucking win? No, she don't, nigga. We motherfucking Nunakai. Now she might have sold her motherfucking soul. She's still a Nunakai though. She is a Nunakai that sold the fuck out, nigga. Can't take from her what she is or what she was. Can't never disrespect this neuromelanin and this carb and that's supremacy if you got that shit. And every Latino and every black motherfucker got a nigga and you should be proud, nigga. That's worth more than, a, than any cash, nigga. Nigga, you forever, nigga. You got a soul and a spirit, nigga. Nigga, they want to live through you. Why you think they clone shit? Why you think they put my father on the MK Ultra so they can literally live through us, nigga? What you think they were showing you and get out? Why you think they, when the white dude told them? Nigga, all the motherfuckers was rich. What he told them, though? Nigga, what he told them, though, nigga? Nigga, I want your eyes, nigga. The whole movie, they was sizing the black dude up. Nigga, the brother was at the table like, the whole movie like, hey, hey, you, you know, with your, with your genetics, with your genetic, I would have been, I would have been called his ass out, nigga. I wouldn't have waited till the end of the movie to try to get out to whoop that nigga. I would have at the table when he sized me up like that. I don't give a fuck if this your sister, nigga. This still my wife, my girl, nigga. I gotta, I can't be looking like no bitch. He had to say, hey, <laughs> you know, with those genetics, you know. Y'all thought that was a movie, nigga. That was a documentary, fam.
Nigga, that's what they did to Kanye. Because they either going to kill you and clone you, or they going to flat out kill you, or sometimes they'll put you on under, under MK Ultra. It depends on how creative you is. Like, if you got like a brain like that, sometimes they just want to be you. They want to experience that. Motherfuckers laughing, thinking this shit a joke. I don't even know what's funny right now. A nigga must have cracked the joke in the comments or something. I know I ain't cracked a joke. You know what I'm saying? I must look funny right now. Oh, cool shit. Okay, cool. All right? Nigga laugh. Nigga, and live, live your best life. But understand, this shit is real. Nigga? <laughs> you feel me out there? Most of y'all were celebrities. <laughs> were kidnapped and sex trafficking as kids. Raised in Hollywood, put in movies and grew up right in front of your face. You didn't even know it. I don't think you heard me. Majority of your Hollywood kids that were stars when they were kids, you will be surprised to find out how they got there. Nigga, I could pull up a YouTube video right now of Diddy talking about how Usher was at his crib at 13. Where was Usher parents at? But niggas wanna just focus the camera on R. Kelly. See, they put the camera on Kells because Kells ain't wanna keep doing what he was told to do. Cause y'all ain't no motherfucking citizens. T.I. didn't wanna keep doing. T.I. gave a couple blood sacrifices. You hear me? He gave a couple blood sacrifices, nigga. He drunk that blood, him and Tiny drunk them blood at them undercover parties. They participated in all that sex rituals and all that. They was doing all that shit because that's what all they ass do. You hear me? But Tip ass want to steady get online and try to, he, he want to play both sides. You know, he want to motherfucking hopscotch the game. You can't do that with them people. Nigga, either you going to guide it out or you going to sell it out. What you going to do? See, Tip, he was trying to play both sides. Like, he knew they wasn't right. So he was still trying to like, do like be outspoken and because he intelligent. We all know Tipper used the big ass words and you know he's intelligent. But he didn't want to pick a side. That's what he going through. That's what him and Tiny going through right now. They told his ass, like, nigga, we told your ass, don't do that shit. Oh, your bitch ass thought shit was the game, nigga? Okay, we got you. We got you. No matter who rich, who free, you ain't no motherfucking citizen. You're not a citizen. Let me read that definition again. Let me hold on. Citizen. One more time. Citizen. One more time for the three. Citizen. What's a citizen? A legally reckon see a lot of y'all never looked up the definition of citizen. See, you thought you was a citizen. That's why I want to. I'm sure I'm gonna show you how you ain't nigga. You ain't boy. Boy, citizen. You you think you got equal rights out there, nigga? Yes, you do. That's why when I talk aggressive, y'all be looking at me like, what's wrong with him? What's don't he know we citizens now? Don't he know we free? Okay, yo, citizen ass. Let's read what a citizen is. A legally recognized subject. I repeat, a citizen is a noun. This is what they say. And it is a legally recognized subject or, or, this, this word, this is the cool part right here. Check out the or. Or national, national, you're not a national, okay? National of a state of common wealth. You have no common wealth with those folks. They took everything from you, Negro. Mm -mm. 
Now, because motherfuckers are citizens. So let's look at the legal definition of a citizen. A legally recognized subject. So you are a person. You are not a subject. You are not considered a subject. You are a person. You are considered a person, which is a company. Hold on. You are not a subject. You are a person, which is considered a company. You are considered a company. That's why your name in all capitals, letters, on all your identification. That's the only reason why they require identification for you, because you are property. You are considered a business. You are a person. They changed it from a living being to a company. So you are considered a person, not a subject. Let's keep reading about what a citizen is with your citizen ass, house nigga. All right? So... A legally recognized subject, which you are not, or national. Okay. Okay. You are not a national. You know why you're not a national? Hold on. If you are considered black or Latino, you know why you are not a national? First off, you have no, you have no nationality. You have no nationality. All right. You do not come from the. What nation are you from? What's your nation? Can you claim your nation right now? If you are an African American or Latin American, you are not a national neither. What's your nation? What's your nationality? Don't say American. How the fuck? So America, American is your nationality, huh? How was America formed? That's your nationality. So you can't say you're an American. So now it's your nationality. How can you be a national if you don't have a nationality? See, these motherfuckers cold with the words. How can you ever be a national if you don't even have a nationality? You're considered American, African American, or Latin American. But is that your origin? Is that your true nation that you come from? No, that is not your nation. Your nation was destroyed. So you are not a national. You can't say you Haitian. That's a Spanish name. That's not your real nation. I got Haitian family members. I can say I'm Haitian right now. I can say I'm Haitian and, and African American. No, no. I, shout out to Haiti. Shout out to Haiti. You hear me? That was my past life. I love Haiti. You hear me? I front line right there with Haiti. Past life. You hear me? But that's not your nationality. Let's wake up right now tonight. That's not your nationality. Nigga, that's a Spanish name. Haitian and, and Dominican and all, them all Spanish names, my nigga. That's not your nation. That's not your nationality. What's your nation? Any name you say is going to be a slave name that was given to you from the Spanish conquistadors because they went in and, and, and got out on everybody after the fall, nigga. They went around and got on us and they get out on us all over the planet. They killed us all over the planet and renamed us and was raping us. And, so... You have no nationality. Definitely if you're an African American. You have no nationality. All right, so flip the check. You cannot have, be a national if you have no nationality. Okay, so a, a citizen is a legally recognized subject which you are not, or national which you are not, of a state <coughs> which you don't come from a state or common wealth. Keyword, common wealth, okay? You share no common wealth with those. You share no, you share, if you black or Latino, you share no common wealth with those hierarchy racist elites that created this country. Why, you don't even have no wealth. They took it, so you have no, when they, listen, when they're saying common wealth, they mean that literally like, that's like saying y'all both are businessmen. And y'all get money together. Y'all getting. Y'all have a common wealth. And then you come. You like, hey, I'm gonna come be a part of what you're doing over there, and make basically merge with your business. Cause, cause America is a business. So you gotta understand, it's a business, a company. It's a republic. Why do you think she has a president? It's a, it's a company. Companies have presidents, right? Right. Companies have presidents. Don't America have a president? Right. Companies have presidents. America is a company. All right. So, understand. The light goes. I'm breaking these bitches down for you. 
They're breaking these light codes down for y'all tonight. Hear me? Hold on. So, let's keep reading about a citizen. Either native or naturalized. So, a citizen is the legally recognized subject. Which you are not if you are considered African American or Latin American or national, which you are not if you are considered African American or Latin American of a state. You do not come from a state. You are not a you do not come from a state. All right. A state is a smaller business, just like a, just like a, just like a country. All right. You do not come from a state. Look up the etymology of state. All right. Or commonwealth. You share no commonwealth with your oppressors. Either native or naturalized. You are not native to America because America was created overseas in Spain. All right? It was an idea that was created overseas in Spain when they was conquering the planet. Okay? So you can never be native to America because you aren't American. That isn't your true nationality. You are native to this planet. You are native to Kai. But you can never be a native to America. And you are not naturalized. All right? You cannot be naturalized because they are not allowing you to be your natural self. All right? Keyword, nature. Naturalized. You are not naturalized because you are not being your natural self. You are living in an enslaved state. All right? So, hold on. You are definitely not a citizen. Now, let's scroll over to the to my next point. That's not my point. Right here. Bing. So, if you still think you are a citizen, why can't you speak your mind? Why can't you speak your mind? Nigga, it, nigga, I've been getting kicked off Facebook, censored on Facebook, censored on Instagram, and I'm just speaking. I'm just talking. Check this out. And it's not just me. They censor a lot of y'all. How many times have you shared a post on social media and then they censor your shit? Facebook, Instagram. But you say you're a citizen. Now, I just showed you that you're not a citizen by definition. But if you still think you're a citizen, let me just give you a little more proof on, on how much you're not a motherfucking citizen, nigga. And see, once you realize that you're still viewed as a slave, then some change can come. Because see, yo ass, that's the problem. Niggas think they are citizens and niggas think they are free. And you, you are not that. All right? So... I asked Google a question. Is it a crime to say fuck the police? You know, I say fuck the police a lot. Right? <clears throat> and and I'd be like, fuck the CIA, fuck police, fuck all them, right? And I know I've been in court before, and they told me you can't you can't you, you can't say whatever you want because the judge kicked your ass out of court. Facts. Right? And you you I've seen people get locked up for saying certain shit to the police. Right? Check this out. Talking is not a crime, it is protected. By the First Amendment, right to speak. His slash her cop slash deputy doesn't give them the authority to violate your rights. And those are rights. They are not maybes. Those rights are not let me F with civilians and violate their rights and bully them. Talking is not a crime. That's what they say. And we know what the First Amendment is. Freedom of speech, right? Freedom of speech, right? But right now... Why, why did YouTube kick me off live yesterday? If, if I'm a citizen and we're citizens and talking is not a crime and we're just talking on social media, because that's all we're doing is talking, and it's supposed to be protected because these are citizens. Citizens and civilians have these rights. You're not a civilian either by, by definition, okay? So if we're supposed to be protected by the First Amendment, freedom of speech, why are these rights being violated? Why are these rights being violated? If we are citizens, African Americans, Latin Americans, you can't post what you want to post on social media. You can't say what you want to say on social media. 
You can't say what you want to say at your job. No, you can't. And you definitely can't say what you want to say in court. And you definitely can't say what you want to say to the police. Nigga, if you say fuck the police in they face, nigga, they damn near mace your ass. But why though? They say talking is not a crime. It is a protected First Amendment right to speak. Right? You know why? Because you don't have this right. You do not have this right. You are not a citizen of this republic. Y'all don't hear me though. You know the reason why they block your sister your shit on Instagram and on social media? Because you are not a citizen. So you don't have a First Amendment right. That's why they censor your ass. Facts. That's why they censor you. Talking is supposed to be not a crime. But the reason why you can't say what you want in this country, because you don't have those rights. You're not a citizen. You are not a citizen of the country. I just showed you by definition that you're not a citizen, but I'm also showing you some legal shit about what you can say. So I went to the most obscene shit to say. But go outside and say fuck the police right now. Walk past the police, say fuck y'all. I bet you they find a reason to try to lock you up. Right? But you a citizen though. Nah, you a citizen though. So, you know what make you think you a citizen? Because they freed the slaves. So you like, I'm free. I'm a citizen. I'm free. They freed the slaves. Don't nobody want to hear what you talk about, fam. That shit was way back in the day. Okay, so what amendment made them free the slaves? The 13th Amendment freed the slaves, right? Let's read about it. President Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation issued on January 1st, 1863 declared that the enslaved and Confederate control areas were free. I don't even need to read any further. All right. But I do want to read a little further. Hold on. Because I want to dive further into the 13th Amendment, right? So, a lot of people think that they are, they are citizens and they are free, especially if they're African-American, because of this 13th Amendment right here. This 13th Amendment got a lot of y'all food. This 13th Amendment got niggas so food, niggas just so free. All right? See, the problem is people say, what's the solution? The solution is knowledge of self. Once you get knowledge of self, then we know exact, you'll know exactly what to do to make a change. We can't make no change without knowledge of self. All right? So... The 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution proves that neither slavery nor involuntary servitude. Pay attention. The 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution provides that neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for a crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. All right, so this amendment was really a setup, right? Because it freed the slaves, supposedly, out of, out of, out of physical, physical slavery. But at the same time, it still made slavery legal if you broke the law. See, look, it's a, a lot of people overread that in the 13th Amendment. They, they go all around that part of it. They just be like... The 13th Amendment, Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. But, but at the end of the day, you not paying attention to how 
It clearly says that neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, which is the same shit, is, is, is legal except as a punishment for a crime. This is what they brought in law on your I'm a citizen ass out there. You know, a lot of house Negroes. You can't tell them they ain't citizens. Especially if they went to a good college. Shit. Them niggas is not. Them niggas is African Americans and they are citizens. You know what I'm saying? They are citizens. Period. All right? They are citizens. They are citizens. You need, to, you need to let that sink in before we keep going, man. Because, you know, it's a lot of motherfuckers that think they know something. And they be like, I, I already know this. You don't know shit. Because you, you still vote every year, nigga. So what you know? How you know this and you voting still? You, you say you know this, but you vote every year, though. You was just, you was just hoping Biden won. What is you talking about? But you, but you know, but you understand this. You don't understand shit. And that's the problem now. Motherfuckers felt like since they heard it in high school, they know you don't know shit. You go back and read. You grown as hell. Go back and read. Go back and read what they lied to you about in high school. Now that you are an, a, a what they call an adult. All right. In this same fucking amendment, they clearly told you that slavery is legal if you break a law. That's what except as a punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted shall exist within the United. That's what that means. That's exactly what that means. That's exactly. Look, I just had to put a few motherfuckers in time out. Like, I just had to put, like, three, four motherfuckers in timeout. Bella, Niger, whoever the fuck just got their ass put in timeout. Like, y'all ass out there don't come in here interrupting this intellect. See what I'm saying? I just put, like, three, four motherfuckers in timeout. I'm so quick with the thumbs right now. Niggas don't even know it. I'm teaching and thumbing y'all ass. You hear me? I'm teaching and thumbing. I'm did deep. Y'all hear me? I'm teaching and thumbing. Motherfuckers in the middle of talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker got they getting their ass. Get out. Get out of here. You hear me like, go live your life somewhere else. We ain't trying to hear nothing you saying. Facts. All right? So this 13th Amendment, man, you feel me? Right up in this same amendment, you feel me? They they sit here, you feel me, and 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 and, and, and tell you that slavery, Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves, 13th Amendment, but they don't ever finish the sentence, though. You see what I'm saying? They be like, Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves, 13th Amendment, Emancipation Proclamation, da 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 but they don't finish the sentence, though. Finish reading the motherfucking sentence, though. You hear me? Y'all feel me reflection like, you notice how all y'all done heard the first part of that shit at the minimum, but you never heard the back end? Now, some of y'all that research, you heard the whole back end, right? But you might not have really meditated on what that mean. But a lot of people never heard the back of that. I'm just being honest, though, like, motherfuckers didn't pay attention in high school, because I didn't, all right? They was lying anyway, so I don't knock nobody for not paying attention in high school, but let's pay attention now, all right? Because we not lying in here, you feel me? So at the end of the day, nigga, I'm trying to show you how they lied and played on our intellect, making us think we citizens. See, a lot of us, we revert to that 13th amendment, right? So we be like, man, we citizens. And then, they, then you know, we just witnessed that we lost a whole bunch of ancestors in the 60s. Because they thought they were citizens. So they was out because they was lied to. You know, so they out there marching. You know, they fighting for their right to vote. Like they vote was going to change something. You know, motherfuckers actually died behind that shit. You feel me? They lost their avatar behind that shit. You know, a lot of motherfuckers came back, though. You know what I'm saying? That was a part of that, though. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm just being honest with y'all. Like, you know, you don't see how, how detrimental that is. We lost ancestors, like, in the 60s that died. And was marching for this shit. Like, because they thought, they just thought they're like, damn, they thought they were citizens. You see what I'm saying? They thought they were citizens. They're like, man, we free. They couldn't understand why the KKK was steady burning their shit down. How many black Wall Streets we had in this country. They was bombing niggas. Shit. We couldn't understand, like, how the fuck was they doing it? Even now, we be like, how we can't understand how the police kill you and get away with it? Because your ass not a citizen. 
and the quicker you realize that by law that you're not a citizen, you everything else will make sense. You'll be like, oh, I get it. Don't none of that shit apply to our ass, nigga. You're still an indentured slave, and that's all I'm showing y'all tonight. It's the legal be the legalness behind this shit. I'm showing you in these amendments where you still a slave, nigga. They ain't free shit. You know what I'm saying? They clearly told you that slavery is still legal as long as they can get make it look like you broke some one of their crimes. They could do that at any given time. They do that with motherfuckers when they get out of line. You know what I'm saying, nigga? You, you, don't, you don't act right with the, with the least. They gonna jail your ass. Make, make a case up on you, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Take your business. Slow your money down. Freeze your funds up. Put a case on you. Have somebody say you tried to rape them. Spread lies on you. Work through your... Like, they do all this type of shit. You feel me? So, when you at your job and you the person that work on your job and you got any sort of independence, they make it hard for you. They're like, oh, this motherfucker... Got their own mind. Like, if you work on any job, if you ever notice if you ask questions, they get mad or they get irritated. Like, they don't want you to ask no questions because it's a curriculum that's already set at that company. All right? So, so you know, you got to understand, you know, your birth certificate is nothing but collateral. You was never a citizen of this country. You know what I'm saying? You're an indentured servant, you property. You know what I'm saying? If you're a carbonated being, you're an indentured servant, you property. You feel me? And that 13th Amendment lets you know, like, hey, they can still enslave you as long as they can get you to break one of their laws and still punishable, right? So basically, slavery is still legal. You know what I'm saying? That don't say, you know, uh, the 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution provides that neither slavery nor involuntary servitude shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. It could easily say that. Look, 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 look. Peep game. This don't say the 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution provides that neither slavery nor involuntary servitude shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. You see how I jumped around? I, I, I stopped at that comma right there and jumped around all this. Because all that right there between servitude and shall, that whole motherfucking sentence, nigga, changes all of that freed shit, nigga. You hear me? Nigga, that's what I'm saying. If they wanted us free, nigga, they could have left that out of that amendment. They could have just ended it at the 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution provides provides that neither slavery nor involuntary servitude shall exist. Within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. They could just say that. They can just say that. They can just say that. They can just say that. You hear me? They can just say that. But they didn't. They put all this bullshit in between it. And that completely changes the meaning. When they get the accept as a... Look, look, look. Accept. They pimped us out. Slavery is illegal. All forms of slavery is illegal. And involuntary servitude, pause, except, except, you know what I'm saying? What the except is for? What the fuck is we accepting shit, nigga? We could have left all that out and jumped straight down shell to shell exists within the United States, nigga. You know what I'm saying? When they slid this whole sentence in there, nigga, they could have omitted that. They could have omitted that whole sentence. You don't understand how that whole sentence makes you not a citizen of this bitch. Except as punishment for crime, whereof the party shall have been duly convicted. Ain't they slick? And you wonder why you need a passport to leave the country. And you wonder why you got to show ID everywhere you go. You hear me? 14th Amendment. What is the 14th Amendment? Let's read about it. 14th Amendment. So, 14th Amendment tells you that basically this is another amendment that they slid behind us. To make us gods, who they had renamed Latinos and black people, 
believe that they was ended slavery and that you was a citizen and that they was protecting your rights. What was the 14th Amendment about? Let's read it. The 14th Amendment addresses many aspects of citizenship. Up, up, but remember though, I just proved to you you're not a citizen. You're not a citizen, all right? So remember that when they say in the fourth amendment addresses many aspects of citizenship. But this applies to citizens. Not the descendants of slaves who are property of the country. Which is why they never granted you your real nationality back. They know y'all our real last names, our real history. They took it from you. So if you was really free, why wouldn't they why why wouldn't they let you? Why wouldn't they let you? You hear me? Pay attention. The 14th Amendment addresses many aspects of citizenship and the rights of citizens. Y'all hear me? Y'all got to feel me. I'm pausing for a reason. This 14th Amendment apply to citizens. And this is the equal protection rights of citizens. You are not a citizen. All right. The 14th Amendment addresses many aspects of citizenship and the rights of citizens. The most commonly used and frequently litigated phrase in the amendment is equal protection of the laws, which figures prominently in a wide variety of landmark cases, including Brown versus Board of Education, racial discrimination, where they made you believe you was a citizen because they allowed Brown to win and they allowed black people to integrate into school with white people. So more that was more of a reason for black people to believe they were motherfucking citizens, but they were not. All right. Bullshit. The legal term of citizen don't even apply to you. All right. Now let's look at the actual section of citizen. All persons born or naturalized in the United States. You wasn't born in the United States. You were born in your mother's womb. This is why your mother has to sign you over at birth with the birth certificate. Pay attention. All persons born. All right or naturalized in, in the United States. You weren't born in the United States. You were born in your mother's water. This is why when you're at the doctor, your mother has to sign you over. That's what the birth certificate is. She signs you over to the United States. Her and your dad. All right? That's what a birth certificate is. It's your mother signing off and your father signing off and signing you over to the United States. This is why they are called parents, because they are paying rent to hold you, to keep you. But you belong to the United States. You don't hear me. Legally, by law, at birth, your mother signs you over to the, to the United States when they sign off on a birth certificate. Yeah, you're right, Tom. Sold you right into slavery and didn't even know it. When you sign the birth certificate and, your, and the dad signs it, you are signing your child over to the United States because they are. I mean, to the to the to the to the company, and we know who owns the company, okay? Because they know that the natural way to give birth is down by the water or on your own. So when you go to a hospital and you have and you give birth in a hospital. You let the country know that you're not able to take care of your own baby. All right. So you're basically, listen, when you go to the hospital, right? When you go to the hospital, 
All right. And you have your baby at the hospital. You basically telling this company, America, that you are not able to take care of your baby. You don't possess the medical needs to bring it into this world and you need help. So they let you have a baby in the hospital, but you have to sign the baby over to the corporation. That's what a birth certificate is. So when your mama signed off on the birth certificate, when your dad signs off on the birth certificate, they signed you over to the company. Now, this is why they are called parents, because they are paying rent. Pair rent. They are paying rent to the government, all right, to babysit you. But you belong to the company. That's why if somebody was to come and harm you, it's not going to say, Motherfucking the United, it's not gonna say, okay, say somebody come harm you and they last name Jones. It's not gonna say Jones versus, say your last name Smith. It's not gonna say Jones versus Smith, nigga. It's gonna say Jones versus the United States, nigga. Because you harmed the property of this country. That's why they charge you and send you to jail. It's called a charge because they are literally charging you and you paying them with either money or time. But time and money is the same shit. This is why everybody in jail has a number. This is why everybody in jail get like every day they sit in jail, that jail makes money. This is why they got penitentiaries and stocks and bonds, nigga. Facts. Because you are not a citizen of this country. You hear me? Because you are not a citizen of this country. Y'all don't hear me out there. Y'all don't hear me. Because you're not a citizen of this country. And that's the problem. We lack knowledge of self. Everybody keep asking me, what's the solution? The solution is for motherfuckers to get knowledge of self. Because once you get knowledge of self, all the answers are already within you. Anyway, you are a divine being. You don't even come from this planet. I'm just showing you how you're not a citizen. You really a God. I'm not lying when I'm telling you that. I'm proving to you that you're not even a citizen of this country. I have always prove to y'all that these names don't even apply to you and where them names come from. You don't even know your nation. If I ask you, if I ask you your nation right now, what you gonna say? You a crip? That ain't your nation, nigga. What's your real nation? See what I'm saying? If I ask your nation, what you gonna say? You, you vice lord, you GD, you gonna... That ain't your real nation. What's your real nation? And if you don't come from that, you gonna say what you American? That ain't your nation. What's your nation? Don't say you Puerto Rican. The Spanish are the, are the same people. Any Latin name you say, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Haitian, that's all Spanish names, nigga. Them is not child names. Y'all do not speak Spanish originally, nigga. Y'all got DA and y'all like I got like we got in us. That's why I get down to the root of it and I say, yes, blacks and Latinos are people of, of color all over the planet are the same species. Fuck them titles. Come on now. Now we looking at these amendments, man. And they leave, and they using these words on your ass, nigga. They say all persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. No state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States, nigga. That don't apply to you, fam. That don't apply to your ass. Because you're not a citizen. I'm showing you in their amendments. They tell you who it applies to. It, this only applies to citizens, nigga. You're not a citizen. Let me flip it around. All persons born or naturalized in the United States. You was not born in the United States because you are not a citizen of this country. You a slave. You are the descendants of slaves in this country enslaved your ancestors. All right. So you were born in the womb and then your mother signs you over to the country. So you are more property of the country because the country owns your mother's water. OK, boom. All persons born are naturalized in the United States. That, is a, that doesn't apply to nobody that is African-American or Latin American. 
and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States. You are not a citizen. We proved that by legal definition that African Americans and Latin Americans are not by legal definition citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. No state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge, that means breaks, the privileges or immunities of citizens, nigga, of citizens, citizens. This only applies to citizens. This is why the police is able to kill your black or Latino ass every day. And we be like, damn, how they getting away with this shit? Because your ass ain't no citizen. Peep the game. No state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States. Nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. Nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. That's section one of the 14th Amendment. This is how cold they is. Because you ain't never went to read the amendments. So you don't pay attention to, the, to these terms and legally what these terms have legal meaning. And any lawyer will tell you that. A person has an actual, is a whole different meaning from a civilian, from a citizen, naturalized. Well, why you think they use these words? Because they know your ass ain't going to look that shit up. Look at how they phrasing shit and subject to the jurisdiction thereof. A person might not even know what that means. That means you are, this means this only applies to citizens because citizens are subject to the jurisdiction of the company. They could have just said that, but they want to say in subject to the jurisdiction thereof to confuse you. Are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. Now, the 14th Amendment is all about what? What is it all about? The 14th Amendment addresses aspects of citizenship and the rights of citizens all right so this right this law was all about protecting rights your rights all right now check game right check this check section four though all right section three is more about congress and it's really telling you how <laughs> if you go against the constitution they got the right to do whatever the fuck they want to do to you. You know what I'm saying? But you can read section three on your own. But check section four, right? Of, of, of the 14th Amendment. You know what I'm saying? Because see, we don't go into this shit. Check section four. The, val the validity of the public debt of the United States, pay attention, authorized by law, including debts incurred for payment of pensions and bounties for services, in suppressing insurrection or rebellion shall not be questioned. Hold on. Let's run that back. Let's rewind that, nigga. The validity of the public debt of the United States authorized by law. Law applies to citizens, including debts, incurred all right keyword incurred all right so they incurred these debts but what if these debts are where are they saying these debts come from for payment of pensions bounties for services for in suppressing insurrection or rebellion shall not be questioned my nigga so that means you hear me that means that these payments are going out to these police officers whose job is to make sure that you don't rebel against this constitution and this law. All right. So they telling you, though, right here in Section four in the 14th Amendment, though, that any money that they spend. On bounties for services. In suppressing, that means keeping quiet, all right? This is why they're able to, to create these militia groups and these mercenary groups that ride around and kill motherfuckers in the hood every day because of this section four of the 14th Amendment. 
Oh, yeah, I'm exposing America ass tonight for what she really is, nigga. Listen, nigga. You better pay attention, nigga. Including debts incurred for payment of pensions. That mean they got motherfuckers on the payroll for this shit. And bounties for services in suppressing insurrection or rebellion. Shall not be questioned. They let you know in the fourth in section four of the 14th Amendment. All right. The true purpose and reason of the police. Their job is to bully the community, nigga. Because they only go to that's why they are only in the communities of the insurgents. Who is considered the insurgents? The original guys of the planet, the black and Latinos, the African and Latin Americans. So this is why they control the communities and they let you know that it shall not be questioned. Now, let's keep reading. But neither the United States nor any state shall assume or pay any debt or obligation incurred in aid of insurrection or rebellion against the United States or any claim for the loss of emancipation of any slave. All right. This is still in the 14th Amendment today. Why are they saying of any claim for the loss of emancipation of any slave? And it's still in the 14th Amendment in Section 4 today. If you're not a slave. All right. If you're not a slave, pay attention to the wording. All right. Now, let's go to the 15th Amendment. What's the 15th Amendment? The 15th Amendment reads, the rights of the citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state or on account of race, color, or previous condition of servitude. The 15th Amendment guaranteed African-American man the right to vote. All right. So what you need to pay attention to is this. The only reason most of y'all think y'all free and that y'all are citizens and not slaves of this country is because you're going off the 13th Amendment. Which they didn't hit you with the 14th Amendment to, 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 to further misconstrue the 13th Amendment. And then they came with the 15th Amendment, which they still didn't apply to us, which is why they was not allowing them to vote. But then was they did see like, hold on, if we let their ass vote, it's going to keep them Novocaine. Like I was telling y'all yesterday, Novocaine, it's a form of Novocaine because we allow them to vote, right? And if we allow them to vote, if they just think that they have a say-so, then they'll be complacent so this is why they ushered in the 15th amendment and applied it to african american men and women and latin american men and women this 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 the we we in the amendments I'm going to give you the, the, the light code of the amendment. Because they're not saying that. I'm telling it back to y'all right now. That ain't how they wording that shit at all. You feel me? Let's look, let's look at this, man. Here they go lying. But let's look at this, man. More proof. And let's look at it. They trying to lie, though, but we're going we gonna to break down the lie. 
often misinterpreted to mean that African Americans as individuals are considered three fifths of a person or that they are three fifths of a citizen of the United States. The three fifths clause, in fact, declared that for purposes of representation in Congress, enslaved blacks in the state would be counted as three fifths of the number of white inhabitants of that state. Oh, they trying to clean it up. That, that ain't how they said that, man. When was this article? When was this article printed up? October 2014. You see? You said they try to clean it up. Often misinterpreted. Ain't no often misinterpreted shit, nigga. That's the clause. That African Americans are only three-fifths of a man. They are not even considered a full fucking being. Nigga. Look at them. We used, we used to count black Americans. Listen, man. Article 1, Section 2 of the United States Constitution. That's crazy, y'all. They, and they never changed it, though. They never really changed it. So, you know, and y'all can look this up yourself about this three-fifths clause, but they never changed it. That's still, that's still what it is. That's still what it is. You hear me? I don't give a fuck what you thinking. I'm telling you what it is. That's still what it is right now. All right. But you still think you a citizen though. You every time somebody black get killed by the police, mother like, why are they doing this to us? What is you talking about? That's what they supposed to do. They do you understand who the police is? The police job is to protect and serve the country's interests. Who the threat to the interest? We are. We the motherfuckers enslaved. So why you think you only see the police patrolling our communities? They making sure your ass stay enslaved. They the COs just in the free world. Nigga, that's who locked you up, ain't that? Ain't that who, who, who makes you, who enforced the law? See, when you understand who the police really is, you'll feel like I feel toward their ass, nigga. They're not there to help us, to help the community. That's why you got so few little good police officers that really want to help the community. Majority of them, when they going on how this, how this system set up, no, period. No. You hear me? Y'all got to feel, you got to understand that. All right, what the police job is. So if you understand what their job is, stop when they kill your ass, stop saying, why is they killing us? That's what they supposed to do. Protect the interests of the elite. That's why they got quotas. Their job is to fill the jails and fill City Hall with tickets so that City Hall can make money off tickets. Nigga, they ain't got to ride around getting niggas tickets for speeding. If you're going to get niggas tickets for speeding, then why the fuck you get cars for them? If you're going to, if you don't want niggas speeding, why the fuck would you give us cars for? See what I'm saying? You want a nigga to do 65, but, but you got 140 on the dash though. If the law is for the cars to only do 70, why ain't all the cars saying 70 on the dash? See, these are the things you don't think about. Because the system is designed for fuckery. The Matrix. And you're not a citizen. Every gun is aimed at your black or Latino ass while you thinking you a citizen. Instead of getting on your square and ass and getting your own companies and saying fuck helping them, niggas want to help them and believe they citizens. They Americans. I don't see the police arresting no senators, none of the litigators, none of the motherfuckers making the laws, drawing the paperwork up, none of that shit. That's why I said I'm not honoring the law no more. They can't even pull me over, nigga. I'm looking like, shit, nigga, pull me over, nigga. We just going up damn near right there. It just depends on how I feel, nigga. And if I do pull over, nigga, you better have the mother. Your energy better be right. You better be one of them cool cops coming up on some, yeah, da, da. Any aggression, nigga, we is going right there with me. Because I know who y'all is. Y'all purpose. You not locking up no motherfuckers that's doing the, the raping, doing the killing. You don't lock up the niggas that really bring the drugs in the community, but you lock up the niggas who sell the drugs.
and use the, and the people that use the drugs. Y'all don't work hard. Y'all make Americans work hard for y'all, and y'all be flying on jets all y'all life with soft hands. And then y'all don't even show loyalty back to the people that put in hard work and work in American companies and like be loyal. Y'all a fire a motherfucker like. Motherfucker could be loyal to America to, your, to the company, work for your company 20, 30 years, nigga. And y'all will still do some disloyal shit and decide to downsize and fire that individual one day. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, like, give a motherfucker a hard time about a 401k you promised they ass when they was a teenager. Motherfuckers get 65, think they gonna get their 401k and just chill. Niggas getting allotted allowances out of their shit. Like, come on, motherfuckers, 65. Like, they can leave any day now. You ain't gonna give them they shit? Give them they shit. Give them they shit. You know what I'm saying? But you still allotting. You know, you wanna allot some shit out. Motherfuckers, 65, they didn't worked in y'all for America their whole life and they still can't. They still get treated like little kids. They gotta get allotments. Why they can't get their whole 401k that you promised them? And then we want to say, I like, we don't see it. Your grandmama just died, nigga. You just watched your grandma work her whole life, nigga. She, did she leave you $401, nigga? Did she leave it behind for anybody? Rarely. Yeah, some of y'all do got some grandmamas out there that left y'all. Some of them some granddaddies that left y'all. Some of them some mamas. Some, yeah, we got those people. But on average, in our community, it's not, it's not, it's not a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's not a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's more, more so, more people don't do it than do it.